And one more thing why it's cool to have a um, THU loaded into Geek, Geek Performer. It's basically uh, MIDI controllers for dynamic foot pedals. Uh, basically, uh, Geek Performer allows you to map multiple parameters to one foot switch, we already see that. And also, standard guitar pedal board uh, gives you one effect per switch, but uh, with Geek Performer, I can, for example, map one pedal to control multiple parameters depending on the rack space. On Jimmy Page Black Dog uh, preset, uh, rack space, I have number three uh, button on my MIDI controller that is turning reverb on and off, as you can see on the screen. But that same button on my other rack space, being Floyd for, let's say, comfortably an amp, you see, I have it change phaser, turns phaser on or off. And you know, really, the possibilities here are endless. You know, we can literally program everything. And it's super, you know, super simple to do. So for example, you know, if I go to my, uh, these widgets that I put, like a phaser power switch, or overdrive power, you know, it's as simple as, you know, go to edit, click, you know, MIDI, you can just press learn and press the button on your controller. And also you can assign it to whichever plugin you want and to whatever C parameter. Here, phaser power, you know, flanger speed, depth, delay, obviously, you know, you can control it with expression pedals, of course, if you, you know, you want a continuous controller. So it's, that's really, really amazing. And same here, for example, this uh, preset or rack space, comfortably numb, I have three variations. So you see, on one variation, I have drive engaged. If I move to the next variation, I have, see, phaser, reverb, delay, SD drive, and the last variation, I have also boost, like overdrive, and global EQ. And you can just use them in different parts of the song. 